maintenance firm Jarvis took to the streets today. Yes, dismissed a week after the company went into administration with no pay packets and no redundancy. They're angry the government didn't step in to save them, as Julie Lockwood reports. Protesting outside the Jarvis Rail Depot in Doncaster, where until last week they went to work. Owed a month's pay when they were sacked without notice. Came into work last Wednesday, told to leave. End of. No wages, no nothing. That's it, simple as. And that's what we're here today, fight for money they owe us. And just to make people aware that we're still here. Nearly 600 workers were victims of the acts in Doncaster, Leeds and York. Here with their supporters to march and protest. There's anger because although Jarvis has gone into administration, their work maintaining railways still needs to be done. That work now going to agency staff. We believe that this has been a setup. We believe that the company Jarvis that employed these workers has been driven into administration deliberately by Network Rail, uh, the company that controls all of the contracts for engineering on the, in the railway industry. Uh, and it is our firm belief that this is being done in order to drive down the cost of engineering jobs in the industry. That claim denied by Network Rail, which says the allocation of contracts follows strict guidance in order to deliver best value for money. There was criticism, too, of the government for failing to back a rescue package for Jarvis. Minister for Yorkshire Rosie Winterton faced a mass meeting of workers after the rally. Network Rail is a private sector company and the important thing that we have to do is work, however, with the rail regulator, with Network Rail and others to say that these contracts need to be re-let as quickly as possible. The work is there to be done and I want to see as many people employed as possible on a full-time basis to do it. The fight for justice for Jarvis workers isn't over. Next week, they plan to march in York. Jarvis workers step up their battle. One of the government's big hitters agrees those made redundant have been treated unfairly. School Secretary Ed Ball spoke as he hit the campaign trail in West Yorkshire. John Hill started by asking him how Labour pleaded to accusations that they'd let the Jarvis workers down. Jarvis went bankrupt and um, that's a huge blow and the fact that the work just stops and people aren't getting paid that's not fair and what we've got to do is push really hard as you go through the normal legal processes to get a proper fair deal uh, for the workers down there in Doncaster it's a blow but um, the important thing is we work hard to get it um, sorted out as soon as we can. You're a big supporter of Gordon Brown he's going to have to face three debates with the other party leaders. He's not the most polished television performer. How is he going to fare? Look, we go into selection as the underdogs. Of course we do. And Gordon Brown goes into those debates as the underdogs because people think David Cameron is slick, he's a PR man. But actually, the question people will be asking is, who's actually got the answers to the difficult questions? Who's got the policies? Who can say to people, look, I will act for you on your side? And when they hear David Cameron in the debates um, explaining why his priority is to cut inheritance tax for 3,000 millionaires, I think most people will hear that in the debates and think, that's not really for people like us. I think Gordon Brown is on the side of people here in Yorkshire, and I think that will shine through in the debates. He's not the slickest PR guy. But I think he's a leader, and that's why I think um, the debates will work to his advantage. But we're all effectively going to be voting for an axe man of whatever colour, because the cuts are coming, aren't they? Look, the deficit's going to have to come down, and, um, but we should do that steadily. And we should do it in a way which doesn't put jobs at risk this year, with cuts now, which the Conservatives are proposing. And then there is a choice. We've had balanced tax rises, the top rate of tax, the new bonuses tax. We've also said we'll have to do some reductions in spending in some lower priority areas. But in my department, we're saying education will rise this year, next year, and the year after. We're not going to cut teachers and teaching assistants. We're not going to lay off police officers. Why should families in their communities pay that price? That is not a pledge the Conservatives will match. That will be the election choice. School Secretary Ed Balls there. Well, the Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg has rejected a call for his supporters to vote Labour in selected seats in order to keep the Tories out. Mr Clegg, the Sheffield Hallam MP, has spent the day touring the country, as Chris Kiddy reports. Well, we're at the home of the Leeds Rhinos. Nick Clegg's been having a, a kickabout or a throwabout. You've been in the running this evening, but will you be in the running come May the 6th? You bet. I think, uh, I think this election campaign is a really wide-open campaign.